Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, where today we are going to finish getting all of the heart-to-hearts in the game. So let's see what question Ricky have. Well, all the way to where Mechanus was. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Maybe there is something out there. I can definitely think of some ways they could tie Xenoblade 1 and 2 together after their endings by having stuff exist out there beyond the ocean and sky. Or rather, that isn't just the ocean and sky. So who knows if they'll ever do that. I wish this next heart to heart wasn't quite so out of the way, but it is where it is. Actually, if we had gone to the Alchemoth teleporter thing, could have gotten there in just one jump. That would have been faster. So I guess I didn't pay enough attention. When has that ever happened in this series? Okay, so it's right over here. And who is it gonna involve? Sharla and Ricky. Passion has a smell. Um, I think you like them for different reasons. Do you give them to her so that she can eat them? Oh. Fallen Arm next, where we need Fiora, Sharla, and Dunban. 
I think Fiora's got some quick step. I may be wrong. Yeah, she's got quick step six, so we can have her in front for a bit. And that way we don't have to do any further party changing until after we have done all of the heart to hearts. Okay. Oh, they're just both inside the village, huh? Oh, wait, there's also one out here at the beach. I guess we didn't check all of the heart-to-hearts. Oh, well. No time like the present. Generally. The question is whether the little sister will answer the question. Wait, didn't you tell, uh, Melia? Or was it Sharla? Oh. Okay. Well, that's that one. Yeah, and then she jumped ships. Yeah, maybe. Alright. So now let's go check out this one. I bet it's gonna be Shulk and Fiora. What do you know? With Dunban looking on from the corner, apparently. Oh. 
Oh. Oops, indeed. Wow, he actually called her face beautiful. Also, taking a swim on this beach doesn't strike me as the best idea, considering it's full of mechon wreckage, and I'm sure some of them have very pointy pieces. Also, hello, that is a super boss. With an instant death spike, no less. We are going to not fight it. And in fact, we are going to leave this beach and go inside the Bionis. Specifically, the heart-to-heart -heart lives... Oh, actually, right about here, so... Nice and easy to get to. That is true. Well then. And nothing else in here. So hopefully this will be the last heart to heart we need to have. We need Ricky and Ryan. And if it doesn't give us the achievement for having done all the heart to hearts, well then, I've got some searching to do. And this heart to heart lives here. At least I'm pretty sure it's here. Yep, there it is. Oh, look at Ricky just sitting in the throne.
Mm. Is Ricky gonna adopt Ryan too? No, nope, not gonna adopt Ryan, just tell Ryan to make his own family. Oh. It's Sharla. Everyone knows it's Sharla. I didn't get the achievement for having all the heart to hearts. Oh no. Well, I guess that means we've got a little bit of searching to do. We can't go back there or to any of these places, but we can. Well, we've been to the Fallen Arm. We can't go to Galahad Fortress or Sword Valley. Uh, Valak Mountain, I don't believe there was another one to have, but we can just go here and check the map, make sure. Looks like final Marcus is back. I bet we could beat him this time. You know what? Let's do it. And let's actually have... No, no, we we want Sharla. Uh, specifically because she can help Ricky stay not dead for slightly longer. Uh, but we want Ricky in front for a bit so that we can cheese it. And I know this one's not final, Marcus, but that's fine. It's in front. Makes it useful for getting this ready. Alright, one more. And then let's move a bit so that we can try and get it. So that we've got only final Marcus in our sights. All right, now we're all ready for this. Marcus is only yellow to us, so we've got a better shot. Can give him some of that. And then, as long as we get our chain link, we are golden. Okay, Ricky's gonna freezeinate. Charlotte's gonna pew pew. Thirty K poison. With uh like ten K poison on top of it. And then we can just make sure that Melia stays alive. And then we can do some of this. And Ricky can go ahead and give us a happy happy just to ensure that we've got enough party gauge to pick someone up if we need. Uh, Sharla can heal herself. Gaining a little bit more aggro and just keeping her at max health. Alright, so now we can just watch this guy die. And Melia is going to stand far away. 
so that she cannot melee him and eat that spike. I don't care that you're doing this mountain impact. You're going to die before it goes off. You are melting. Goodbye. Oh, but there's also a glorious Lobos. Let's go ahead and use some of this. Might as well tag it with this as well. And then we can use this freeze. Poison it too. And then, yeah, we already won. Yeah, what do we get from Marcus? Okay, we could have done better here. If we had gotten the special uh, Super Boss exclusive glyph, then we could have traded it for a Love Essence, which would have let us uh, complete the Collectopedia, like, completely. But, oh well, that's not really a priority for me. I don't think the High Antia Tomb's got any more Heart to Hearts for me, but we might as well go here just to make sure. Nothing on this floor. Oh, there's one. And I can see why I never got it. It's because it's annoying to get to. You gotta go here, walk across here, climb on over, and then get it. Okay, so go in the middle. Then on down here. Then climb across, painstakingly. <gasps> Bye, Sharla. No panic. Welcome back, Sharla. Uh. Ryan and Melia, huh? Also, it turns out Magmel Ruins is a high Entia craft anyway. Oh. Alright. And with that, we are done. And decent timing, too. That is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we are actually going to go finish the main story of this game. See you then, friends.